Hey guys, so our daughters just turned three and it was time for them to get some beds. So we want to show you how we went from this to this. So before I began building, the first thing that I needed to do was clean out their room and remove their old beds. That way I wasn't going to trip over anything. The next thing I did was make an even level line along the wall about around the height where we were going to have the beds. After that I laid out the mattresses kind of in the way that we wanted them so we can have an idea as far as length. And then once that was all done we had to make our first trip to Home Depot for lumber. After getting the lumber, we started to measure out the beds and went ahead and drilled those in and screwed everything to the studs in the wall. I used pocket holes wherever possible. As we made out the beds, we put dividers in between each bed that would hold the mattresses in place. Here's kind of a look of what the structure of it was. In some areas there were outlets in the way and so what I decided to do was make a notch in the wood. And just like that we could fit an extension cord inside it. That way we have electrical for doing lights later on. After the bottom was framed out, we began to build the loft area. Always making sure everything is level. The shape of the top sort of tapered out like this, and we really liked the idea of it. We went ahead and used half inch thick material. We cut everything to size. And then we began making the joists to support the floor on top. Again, we used lots of pocket holes using our Craig jig. Being that we only used half inch thick material, I went ahead and put a supporting joist in a lot of areas probably a little more than needed. I went ahead and gave the bottom a good sand and then began to lay out the carpet on the top. Cut everything to size and then applied some adhesive just to keep the carpet from moving. After that was all done, we began to build the structure that would secure the top area so that the grills wouldn't fall out. For the long beam across the top, I used a molly screw to hold everything in place.
We debated for a long time the way we wanted to go ahead and secure and enclose the top. And I'm really happy with the mechanism that we decided to go to. Home Depot carried a really cool thin mesh metal lining that we were able to secure to our upper loft. These went in nice and easy. The other option was to have made a railing system on the top. But due to the fact that I only had a weekend to build this, I figured the mesh would be a lot quicker and easier. One of the last steps is we went ahead and put trimming on everything. We wanted to give the trim along the whole side of the loft kind of a staggered look. And then we fit the bed dividers into place. I had my wife help me clean up a little bit. That didn't last long. She's a great support system though. And then we gave everything a good stain with this antique white by Verithane.